Hello, I tried this piece of software and believe it or not I got it to work. Uh, I didn't think I would. I've seen a couple videos, the only didn't find none I really liked. But uh, it's uh, called Hard Disk Sen Sent Sentinel. Sent Sentinel. Well, that's hard for me to pronounce for some reason. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I got it to work here. Mm, I may not, maybe I didn't do it right. I'm not sure if I done it the way somebody else would do. Uh, disclaimer, if you use this, you use it at your own risk. Uh, I've heard it said before that you shouldn't uh, download something outside the Linux Mint repository because your, your danger of getting malware or something is a whole lot greater. But I've checked this, I've checked this out, this company, and it seems to be a uh, reputable company. So I thought I would try to download it and get it to work, and believe it or not, it did. So I'm going to see if I can repeat my success. Okay, open up a browser, whichever one you use, and do a search on Hard Disk Sentinel for Linux. And press Enter. And uh, choose this one right here. Hard Disk Sentinel Linux GUI is the one I used. Okay, there's some directions on how to get it to work. And uh, we are going to download this file out right here. Right here, you see in the corner, I've got typed in here. I'm using Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon, Virginia. That's the version of uh, Linux Mint I'm using. And the desktop I'm using is Cinnamon. It's the uh, one that came from Ubuntu, and not not the uh, LMDE, but the one from Ubuntu. And that means that we are using 64-bit because I don't think that the Linux Mint Cinnamon from Ubuntu has a 32-bit. Now, uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition does, but um, if you have this where I'm running, it's going to have to be at least a 64-bit. So we're going to download this file. And uh, before it took about a whole second, when you hit it, it, it downloads fast. See, it's already downloaded. So we've got the file downloaded, so we're going to escape out of this and we're going to open up the downloads directory and there's the package file we will double hit on that and here is the folder take this folder out of here and drag it right back into downloads directory so I'm in downloads right there now then we shouldn't need this anymore as a matter of fact, we can just go ahead and remove it if we want to. I might keep this folder here though and put it in my backup because I don't have to download it anymore and then if they change it, I'll still have one that works. If we get it to work this time, I forgot got it to work twice. We're gonna try it on this portable drive and see how it works. Okay, open this up. And I'm gonna try something because it was asking me to type in uh, period slash install sh so i'm just going to hit control and h and see if we got any hidden files in here no we do not okay so what we want to do is right click and uh, open up in terminal make sure you're right here inside this folder like i'm doing open up in terminal okay I'll make this big so you can see it. And we're going to type in SUDO space period forward slash. And then we're going to type in SUDO. 
install sh. I need to make this small again so I can see it. Okay, right here. Install sh. Just make sure I'm doing it right. You need to put a period in there before sh. Okay, now then, I can let you see that. Thought maybe I could make that bigger, but I guess I can't. So it's super user do or sudo space period forward slash install period sh. Okay, then we're going to press enter and put in your password. Whatever your password might be. Okay, then it installed it. Let's uh I'm gonna hit my shift key and open up another another Nemo file manager folder here. And there's my video running. We're gonna go to file system. We're gonna go to user. We're going to go to share. We're going to go to bin. See, and here's where it put them. Here, here's where it installed at least part of it. I'm going to see if we can get it to run right here. All right. Let's see if we can get it to run for the fun of it. We'll try to make a desktop uh, launcher and icon later, but we're going to try this right here. Double click that. We're going to put in our password again. And yippee yay, there it is. There's my SanDisk Ultra 2 480 gigabyte uh, running in this software. If I had more than one, it'd be right over here. Okay. Uh, it may be reading my... Okay, it's probably reading my, my, S, my uh, jump drive there probably confusing it a little bit see it's confusing it but the hard drive itself so I'm running an extreme pro and it's confusing it but there's my SSD my main one in my laptop uh, okay but let's we, we want to get out of this let's go ahead and escape this for now you can do it several different ways we're gonna go down and hit exit and we're gonna hit yes okay and we're gonna close this up Okay, we're going to close this up. We've already installed it. So we're going to close the terminal window. Okay. Now we're going to we're going to go back one, go back here and uh Now we're going to open this one up right here. We're going to go back into it. Open up this one right here. Now we're going to open this up. Okay, right here is our desktop. We're going to drag this out. Right there. Okay, let me see. So I'll make sure I didn't confuse you. Okay, so where did we get that from? Okay, let's go clear back. Okay, this is my, down back to my downloads. Here was the folder we that we drug out of the package. We're going to open it once. We're going to open this. We're going to double click on this zip package over here. Then we're going to double click on this folder here. And there's the desktop icon and launcher. Okay. So now then. So if we double click on this, it won't like it until we tell it it's okay. That we can trust it. Double click. Untrusted application launcher. Okay, Mark is trusted. Okay, now then we can see it's got the nice, the nice little icon for the hard disk Sentinel. Let's see if it'll run it. Yeah, let's put in the password. And it runs it well. Here it is. Uh, if you have another one, it'll be over here. Uh, I don't want to take time to get one out of the drawer, but it'll read them off of the SSD drives just fine. It, uh, it's a nice little program. It's telling the temperature, uh, 
the performance, the health, and uh, the power. On time is only 23 days. This is a relatively new drive, and this is my uh, sort of my backup or my experimental computer away from my main one, but it's basically got a lot of the same specs. And uh, But I do like Fahrenheit because I read a lot of English measurements and I'm not that familiar with Celsius. So we're going to say, hey, unit of measure, let's go with Fahrenheit. So there it is, 95 Fahrenheit. Action temperature, 109 Fahrenheit. So it gives you the option with that. Okay, so we repeated our success again. So that's pretty nice. I'm, going to, I'm just going to keep this. I'm just going to keep this and put it in a place. Where I can, uh, where I can uh, save it for the next time I need it. All right. Anyway, I want to show you this here. We're going to slide this out of the way. We're going to open up a terminal. This is another. This one here is supposed to be like Crystal Disk Info, and it's called Crazy Disk Info. Now that is in the Linux Mint repository. Okay. To open it, you gotta go super user do crazy because it's crazy disk info. Then you put in your password again. Oh, that's right. I've never downloaded in this one, that's why it's not working. Okay, so let's go do it to it. Let's go get it. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Probably going to be longer than I thought it should be. Let's go look for it. Because I never put it in this one yet. How it takes it package manager, manager a little while to load. So we'll just go ahead and copy it in here too. I know it takes a long time for those. There it is. Okay. Here it is, Crazy Disk Info. We've never installed it on this one here. Don't really have no picture of it or anything, but it's really nice. It's, it's pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and install it. See, it says uh, health and temperature checking algorithms based on Crystal Disk Info. So it's a lot like Crystal Disk Info, and I use that in Windows. So we're going to install this by using our password. Okay, now that's a terminal program. Now let's see if it'll open. Uh, the thing I had, the problem I had was trying to get the right word to open it. Uh, let's try it again. SUD, crazy, put in password, and there it is. All right, we can make a full screen if you want. Uh, Okay, this is power on count 606, power on hours 570. You, I'm not going to, I'm not going to type the video doing all the math and stuff on that, but here's two nice, really nice uh, discs, monitors to check your hard disk and stuff, to check your SSDs and hard disk to uh, see if they're running properly and what the temperatures are and all that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, we're going to exit this. And we're going to push a control and C should answer, should escape this one, or you can hit the X, but you just hit the X. Just do that to make it nice and simple. Yeah, we'll close the terminal. Uh, We'll put this here 
in my icon icons and more. I've got some pretty neat little things in here. We'll just put them in there for right now. Put that in there for right now. So, okay. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any comments. And uh, thank you for watching.